So, I'm currently having a kind of holy crap moment. I'm in the middle of the pool. It is like two o'clock in the morning. And I'm about to get on a bus for a couple of hours to go to London for auditions. What the hell am I doing with my life? I must be insane, right? So, 8 a.m., uh, well, 10 past eight, uh, I got off at uh, Victoria a little while ago and I'm, I made it to London, thankfully. Long, long, long journey. Fortunately, I slept through most of it, which is pretty good. So, I'm on my way to my first audition, which requires me finding the blooming venue, which seems to be miles away from Victoria, but, like, I've got an hour and a half, so hopefully I'll be able to go grab some to eat before auditions, but yay! A day of... random wasp. Uh, a day of three auditions I've got this, uh, I've got today, so let's see how they go. Side note, I'd, I'd also forgotten just how long the mal was. So, I just had uh, had breakfast, thankfully, finally. Um, I got to the end of the, uh, end of the mal and I'm sitting in Trafalgar Square. Look, there's there's Nelson, meeting Nelson. No, no, you know, family ties or anything, just a coincidence, you understand. Um, yeah, first audition is just up that away. Uh, I think it's up that away. I'm gonna go check it out, but I've got like an hour to myself now. So I'm gonna head up there, and it's all mooch around here for 15 minutes. Take me about 15 minutes to walk up there. That means I'm half an hour early from the audition. That's not a huge issue. I'd rather be early than late. Um, and then I've got another two later today, uh, that before, before I sort of get to lunchtime, which would be quite good. Yeah, it's exciting. It's kind of like, for the first time in ages, I've actually got audition work. Ooh. So, like, for the first time in ages, I've got audition work coming in, or auditions coming in, and work's starting to come in, and stuff's starting to happen, which is, it's fantastic. And you know what? I forgot how awesome this city is. I mean, don't get me wrong, all big cities I love, but there's someone about London. Every city's unique, and I forgot how much I love this place. Yeah. So, first audition of the day, and it went possibly as badly as it could have gone. Um, I, I completely fluffed. Not only did I fluff the monologue that I prepared, the speech I prepared, but I also managed to fluff the uh, scene that they gave us to perform. And it's like, I, I can't believe I did that. I'm kind of annoyed at myself, but it, it's one of those things of kind of, I'm thinking, okay, I've got another audition in a little while, and I've got, I've got kind of two choices. Either I can beat myself up about it a bit more, or I can try and get myself back into a good headspace. So I kind of figured, I'm like one, two minutes away from Shaftesbury Avenue. And do you know what else is on Shaftesbury Avenue that is really worth popping uh, into? Forbidden Planet. So the bad audition I had earlier today um, is kind of, it's one of those things that it, it happens, it does. You fluff your lines, you fluff your monologues, you fluff stuff, it happens. So, in all seriousness though, one of the things, because I know today is like a day of, a cut of, of more than one audition, I've got, I've got two more left at the minute, but, and, and then I can take some lunch and what have you. And that's why I kind of ended up going to um, Forbidden Planet. It's like small victories, anything to cheer myself up, just so that I know that when I when I go into when I walk into the next audition, I'm not going to be carrying the baggage of the bad one I've just done. Um, at least that's that, that's the kind of hope. I mean, at the moment, it's that kind of weird thing of it was a really sucky audition, and I really don't think I did well. But it could have gone worse. And you know, I'm in London. I'm enjoying myself now. I've had a break, and I'm ready to get into the next. One. So for this audition, I'm heading. A for this audition, I'm heading across the water, uh, across the water river. Uh, I've got both of my both my next two are down on the other side of the river, thankfully. Uh, so it's not so much trying to scrabble from one to the other. This is quite a tight turnaround. It's going to be something like 15 minutes to get between the two auditions, which is probably not ideal and is a great deal of my own fault. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, oh look, there's Westminster. I think the thing is, like, you don't mind if you just don't get an audition. If you don't get, well, you do mind, but you don't mind as much. Whereas if you screw up an audition, it's your fault. And you know it, and you, uh, I beat myself up about it a little more than perhaps I should. Uh, for now, though, I'm trying to go in with a bit more of a positive attitude of, okay, this one, this one I'm not going to screw up on. I'm prepared for it. 
I know what I'm doing and uh, hopefully that results in something better than earlier, we'll see. So my second audition, which was also the biggest one I had today, uh, biggest in terms of uh, how big a job it would have been, uh, that kind of went okay. I don't think I messed up. Um, I certainly didn't drop my lines or anything. I was okay on the song. It wasn't fantastic, but it was okay. Um, so I don't know. I don't know whether I've got it. I, I, I have no idea, but uh, I don't feel like I messed up. Uh, which kind of slightly makes up for earlier this morning, I hope. Uh, I'm on my way to my next audition now. Uh, this one's this one's for something that's actually quite outside my comfort zone, and I've, I've had a bit of fun sort of rehearsing for it, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. But for now, it's like uh, I mean, one thing's for certain though: this is the last time I do this. I have kind of made a mistake here doing so many auditions in one day. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm on to my third, you know, or this will be my third now. Uh, my voice is already starting to feel like crap. Um, I'm absolutely shattered. Uh, that's probably due in no small part to me trying to do this all in one day, you know, come up, uh, come down and, and do me auditions, head back up. I probably should have allotted maybe come down yesterday, stayed over. Uh, I don't know, uh, my mistake, I suppose. But it, it, it seems to be going okay-ish, okay-ish. I'm not, I'm not exhausted, I'm not on the floor exhausted, I've still got more than enough energy for the audition, so let's hope it goes well. I kind of need it to. That's number three down. Um, it went better than the first one, not quite as good as the second audition I had, but we'll, we'll sort of see how it goes and see what happens. I. I don't know. It's it's one of those again. The second one, I don't like the second one. I don't quite know what to make of it and how well I did, but oh, we'll see. I did the best I could. Um, I gave it a shot. I, I I did actually almost bottle it earlier. I I kind of got in my own head about the first audition, and that was a bit silly. So who knows? We'll we'll see what happens. I meanwhile, I'm off to. Um, go back into the city centre and uh, do some more stuff back in London. So I will see you in a bit. So that's it, that's all my additions done. Uh, thankfully, it has been a killer day. My voice is in tatters, my throat feels like it's been through a full show. Uh, I am physically drained. My, my hands are shaking because I haven't had much to eat. I haven't really had the time to have something proper to eat. Um, I will be getting something shortly, but it's um, this many auditions in one day is not a good idea. This many, uh, especially when you're doing a down and back in the same day, it's never a good idea. Hopefully, one of the jobs will pay off. I did okay, I think. I've got to change my hand. Um, I did okay, I think, in the in two of them. The first one, not so much. That that was a bit of a a downer, I messed up big time. Uh, so I'd, I don't expect to hear back from that one, to be honest. But I am in London. I have another three hours before I have to go home. So I'm going to potter down to the wonderful building that I can't really show you because it's behind a tree. It's the Globe. I love that place. I love that theatre. It's one of the theatres that I re is that is on my list to want to perform in. That one and a few others. For now, though, I'll see you later. And finally, back in Liverpool. Yay! That's been the one hell of a day. Um, still not home yet. I've got to get over the other side of the water. Hmm. Anyway. Um, yeah, I have no idea how this is all going to cut together or whether it's going to be any good, but yeah, I'm back in Liverpool finally after a day of auditions and oh, I'm exhausted. Um, I don't know, maybe this has been interesting, maybe it hasn't. It was worth a try. For now though, thanks for watching. Ta-da.